everyone, Humphrey here with Rider Gods. Today is a wonderful Tuesday night here in Sri Racha, Thailand. Sri Racha is in between Bangkok and Pattaya. And I've spent several days here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. We're gonna go through the current state of tourism, how it's like here. We're gonna talk about the geography, where this is, how to get here, transport around town, walking along with the taxis and the motorcycles, how I'm staying here, the hotels and other options available here. The malls, malls are very important. There are several malls here that are really good. Communications, how is internet and phone service here? And then we're gonna round it out by talking about money, how to get money, how to get out of here. So if you wanna to go to Bangkok or Pattaya, how do you do that? Demographics between the expats and the tourists. What are, you know, is it Thai, is it American, is it Japanese, Korean, etc. And then, of course, we will end with the nightlife. So how's the nightlife here? Is it, uh, is it geared towards tourists? Is it geared towards Europeans, etc. So let's talk about the current state of things here. And it's about, I would say, 80%. We're here in Pacific Park Mall. I'm outside of a cafe, Amazon. And there's people out and about. I mean, it's almost nine o'clock and the markets are open. Street market, street food, people running around like that kid. So it's pretty much back to normal. Now, as far as mask wearing, everyone's still wearing their mask. Uh, the ties, for the most part, 95% of them are, are wearing their mask even when they're outdoors. And of course, indoors as well. Uh, tourists, tourists are probably 60%. 60 to 75 percent are still wearing their masks and um, I'm still wearing my mask most of the time but other than that no temperature checks or anything like that that's all gone and there's no scanning of the app QR codes or anything so uh, everything's pretty much back to normal certain places are still a little bit quiet but I would say 80 percent 80 to 85 percent back to normal now the geography Sri Racha is just north of Pattaya, so it's about a 40 minute drive north along Sukhumvit. It's along the coast, and so it's smack dab in between Bangkok and Pattaya. I'm gonna show a map just to give you an idea of where it is. Now, it's probably uh, one third, it's not exactly halfway in between the two places. It's uh, about one third of the way up. If you're heading from Pattaya on the south side, going up north to, to Bangkok. Now getting here, pretty easy for me to get here. I started in Pattaya Pratamnak, which is Buddha Hill, and easy, I took a grab. And the grab cost me 330 baht, 330 baht, which is like nine bucks. And it took me about 40 minutes. About half of that time was just getting out of Pattaya because there was a lot of traffic. But once I got on Sukhumvit, it was a pretty straight shot and very quick. So getting here was very easy. Uh, there are other ways to get here. Some people take a bus. Uh, I tried to find a minivan, but couldn't, couldn't really find a minivan coming up here. There probably are, but I just couldn't find it. But yeah, grab in. Of course, if grab works, then bolt will work as well. Okay, once you get here, transport around town. I have been taking a grab and grab around town, 100 baht and bring you know, pretty like 10 minute rides, 15 minute rides. I've also been taking tuk-tuks, amazingly. So tuk-tuks normally in Bangkok are generally a ripoff, but tuk-tuks when you get out of Bangkok and out of Phuket, they're actually pretty decent. And I've been getting tuk-tuk rides around town for 50 to 100 baht. And of course, motorcycle taxis. Motorcycle taxis, not as plentiful as Pattaya, because Pattaya, like basically every corner has motorcycle taxi stand. But here, you might have to walk a block or two to find some motorcycle taxi guys, but actually been taking the motorcycle taxis around for about uh, 30 to 40 baht. And so just this morning, I took a motorcycle taxi from Pacific Park Hotel to Central, the, the big mall. So Central Sriracha, and it was 30 baht. And yeah, it's actually quite reasonable. So getting around, not too bad. Uh, I've been also, depending on where you're staying for your hotel. Uh, your walking is actually pretty good. I've been walking most of the time from Pacific Park Hotel around the malls and the nightlife areas, going to the beach and such. So walking isn't too bad. 
staying here. So I've stayed, I've stayed at a hotel called the Pacific Park Hotel. It's uh, rooms have been really great, really spacious. 1,200 baht a night for uh, one of the balcony rooms in the in the hotel part. So this hotel has three sections. It's the ho it's a hotel, it's a residence, which is more like service departments, and then there's a Pacific Park Place, which might be condos, I think. So there's three sections of the hotel. It's actually quite big, and it's right next to the Pacific Park Mall. So you got a hotel, you got a mall, and it's yeah, it's it's a great hotel. 1200 baht a night. It's got a fitness center. Uh, it also includes free breakfast, which is not too bad. And also uh, included in my price was four pieces of laundry. So what I do is they gave me a gray bag. I put my four pieces of laundry, uh, shirts, you know, underwear, undershirt, socks, and I put it out in the morning. And then by 6 p.m. at night, the bag reappears on my door or if I'm out, they'll put it on the bed and the laundry is done. It's, it's pretty good and that's included on the price. So 1200 bucks a night is, is pretty good and the room is, it's a, it's a large room. So definitely much better value than what you would get in, in Bangkok. Okay, malls. There are three main malls in this city. The, the biggest one would be Central Sri Raja. So if you've been to other central malls, it is pretty typical. They're all kind of cookie cutter. So you got the first and second floor to clothing shops, etc. You've got the third floor, which is to tech shops and also ATMs. And then you got restaurants, etc. This mall is pretty interesting because it's got two parts to it. It's got the indoor part and then the outdoor part with even more restaurants and stuff. It's got a Starbucks. It's got a Cafe Amazon. It's got a Uniglo. It's got a Muji. So it pretty much has everything that you need and it's very easy to get to the motorcycle taxis will take you there of course and there are also motorcycle taxis and tuk-tuks outside and of course there's a grab drop off and pickup point there so very easy to get to it's right on Sukhumvit. The second big mall in the city is Pacific Park. I'm here at Pacific Park right now and it's uh, five or six floors I forget and it's got a Cafe Amazon right behind me it's got a Starbucks it's got uh, lots of stores. I got, I think it's like 200 stores and supermarkets as well. Pretty good, pretty good place. Very nice to hang out and uh, I'm sitting outside right now. The weather's great and so we'll just pan around once again just so you can see. Pretty happening place. Uh, the third big mall is called J Park. So J Park is an interesting outdoors type mall and it's set up to be like a little Tokyo. And um, it's got like, it's uh, Japanese shops. It's got a really good Starbucks with a nitro cold brew there. I spent several hours there yesterday and uh, it's definitely worth a visit. It's kind of far out from the main part of the city. It's about a 10 minute, uh, it's about 10 to 12 minutes by grab. And, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth a visit. It's like being transported to Tokyo. And next door is the Waseda International Cultural Center. It's communications. Uh, AIS and True. I've been using True hotspotting from my phone. I'm also right on AIS, uh, super Wi-Fi all around town. So communications is not a big deal. If you have AIS or True, you'll be completely fine. As long as you're at the malls and the Starbucks and Cafe Amazons, I've been doing the AIS super Wi-Fi. I just did a speed test and I got 458 megabits download and 99.9 megabits per second upload. So internet at the hotel, the Pacific Park Hotel, nah, not that great. It's about 15 megabits per second. It's pretty slow. Money, ATM machines everywhere. Shouldn't need to worry about money. There are exchange booths in the major malls, not as many as Pattaya or Bangkok, of course, but it is somewhat easy to get uh, exchange your money here, but you know, just find an ATM there everywhere around here. Not, not a problem. Getting out, how do you get out of uh, Sri Racha? Very easy. Along Sukhumvit, there are many uh, Songtaos. These are the pickup trucks, motorcycle taxis. So from Sukhumvit, you can go north to Bangkok, you can go south to Pattaya and, and other parts like the islands and stuff like that. Of course, you could do a grab back to Pattaya. And then from here, there are buses and minivans up to Bangkok. And of course, Bangkok Airport, if you need to take a flight out 
from Silvanapum Airport. So pretty easy getting in and out of this city. Demographics. So this is where it gets interesting. This is not a typical tourist town. So you're not going to see, uh, you know, the typical Pattaya, Bangkok type tourists. The, the normal Farang tourists do not come to Sri Raja. Now, the type of tourists they do get are Thais. So Thais on the weekends, they'll come down here. Uh, it's next to the ocean. There's no beach, but it's, I mean, it's next to the ocean. It's got some pretty good views at sunset. Pretty awesome uh, little restaurants all, along the coast. So yeah, you're gonna get more Thai tourists here than Farang tourists. Now, yeah, I think in the three days that I've been here, I've seen like two white, white folks here. So the normal tourists are not, are not here. And that brings me up to the retirees. This city is meant, is practically meant for, or made for Japanese and Korean retirees. There's a lot of them here. So many, a lot of the businesses here cater to Japanese and Koreans. A lot of the shops have signs in Japanese, signs in Korean, and uh, a lot of people here speak Japanese. So if you want to learn and practice your Japanese here, this is the place to do it because there's actually lots of Japanese schools here that you could, I mean, if you want to do an education visa, you could, you could get your education visa here and learn uh, Japanese. And then finally, that brings us up to the nightlife. Uh, a little different than Pattaya. Uh, if you're here for the nightlife, there's, there's no go-go bars or anything like that. Uh, there, are, uh, there are normal bars. Uh, so yeah, there, I mean, there's normal bars, but you're gonna find that the nightlife here is catered towards Thais, Japanese, and Korean. And so it's definitely different. You're gonna have a lot of karaoke, KTV, massage type places, and they're gonna, vast majority of them are going to be behind this Pacific Park Hotel. I was a little just walking around. And um, yeah, there are people are gonna be sitting outside. They speak Korean, they look Korean. And uh, yeah, it's, it's that type of style versus what you would find in Pattaya or Bangkok if you're into that sort of thing but it's definitely lower key than Bangkok and Pattaya. So you're not going to spend your time here just for the nightlife. Uh, you're gonna spend your time here if you just wanna spend like three to four days, just chill out and have a little different environment, a little more of a Japanese Korean feel. Like, you know, if you're planning, if you, if you wanna visit Japan, but like it's too long of a trip or too expensive, come to Shriacha because it's like virtual Japan. And uh, that's probably the best way to describe it. It's Japan mixed with Thailand. All right, so that was a quick overview and summary of Sri Racha. This will be my third night here. I think three to four nights is, 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 a good, is a good stay here. And if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Bye.